Today we're going to do acupuncture on this beautiful young horse. This is the first time she's getting acupuncture and we're seeing how she's tolerating it. Since it's her first time, she's a little bit antsy, she's moving a lot, but she's actually being really receptive with the needles, so that's good. She already has a lot of needles placed on one side. I already placed a little bit of needles on the other side. I'm just gonna continue placing needles until I see that she tells me no more needles, please, and then we'll do the electro acupuncture. Let's go. The spine, one side of its muscles are relaxing. These needles have been here until the little bit helps for calming, for stress. If your animal is, has a lot of anxiety, it will calm them down. This animal is pretty young. Therefore, we're gonna go slowly. Acupuncture is a non-invasive treatment that will help reduce pain, reduce inflammation, relieve um, stress. And so we're gonna go really slowly. We're gonna go target specific points. So on the neck region, the horses have a lot of tension because they use their neck a lot for, for walking. And so I try to find certain points where I feel knots in between the, each cervical region. And then I go on that point and that will help um, reduce the tension on that knot on that region. This point is more for the shoulder region. And then this point, we call it a permissive point. So it's basically, I'm asking for permission to put needles on the horse. You're okay, bud. You're okay. You're okay, bud. Permissive point. So this point is for asking permission. He took it pretty well, so we're just gonna keep going. This is our shoulder blade. So I'm looking for the points for the shoulder. There's a lot of tension on our shoulders. We use our shoulders for a lot, the horses as well. Now I'm gonna look for the cervical region, for knots on that region. There's one here. So I'll just place a couple of needles here to help that knot relax. I know, you're okay. The spine, basically all the spine is where all the nerves are at. This part is what activates the nervous system and then the front and the back is what deactivates the nervous system. So this is what we call our common points and this is what we call our activation points. And on acupuncture, what we're doing is we're balancing that, we're balancing activating some nerves deactivating some nerves, and then that will help with muscle relaxation, inflammation, reduce pain, reduce stress, all those things. You can see she is moving her lips when she's doing that. That means she is calming down, she is feeling it. So that's a good um, indicator that the acupuncture is working. So now we're going to start the electro acupuncture treatment. So this little device has electricity that we will place the electricity on the needles and it will go through the needle inside the body. And then it's gonna be like a tense unit, but instead of being in the skin, it's going through the skin, through the needles, and it will start you know, helping those muscles contract, relax, contract, relax, until we get the desired amount of relaxation. We can do one side at a time or we can do two sides at a time. So right here, I am placing the electrodes that will release the electricity through the needles. I am deciding which part I want to concentrate on right now since I felt a lot of um, muscle stiffness and a lot of knots on, on this area. Then I want to start on the neck region and a little bit on the scapular region. So I'm going to do one side at a time. This is gonna be on for around 10 minutes and then we'll do the other side. There's specific meridians that we're following. Depending on the meridian that you're following is what, you're, what nerves and muscles you're targeting. So it will all depend on 
what we want to treat. So if we want to treat the neck, then we have to follow the meridian that goes through the neck and some other points that will help the neck region relax. So it would all depend on what we want to treat. Meridian is basically a pathway that we follow for acupuncture so there is at least 12 to 13 meridians that we follow you can see i just placed this needle here and then these needles have been here for a little bit longer it's okay mama um as you can see these needles are coming out slowly that means that that muscle on that region has relaxed and when the muscle starts relaxing it starts pushing the needles out so sometimes during the treatment the needles will fall out but that means that the treatment is working. It means that the muscles are relaxing enough that they're pushing those needles outward. So that's a good sign. So now we removed all the needles and she's gonna go into her stall. She's gonna rest for the rest of the day. Her process right now, she is realizing that she's done with treatment. So she's ready to go. 